Good morning. Today we're going to be taking a look at some properties of exponents. We're going to look at three properties for exponents. The multiplication property of exponents, the division property of exponents, and also what happens when we do an exponent applied to another exponent. For each of these rules, we're going to, or these properties, we're going to look at what is the rule, when can we use it. We're going to take a look at an example and we're also going to look at the reasoning behind why do these rules, these tricks for exponents, actually work. The multiplication property of exponents is a rule that helps us when we are multiplying two terms together with the same base. The rule is if we're multiplying two terms with the same base, all we need to do is add the exponents up and the base will stay the same. So if we write that rule out in algebra, x to the power of a times x to the power of b is always just going to equal x to the power of whatever a plus b, the two exponents, are added up. An example, if we did x to the power of 5 times x to the power of 2, if we used our rule, we're multiplying the same base, we would keep that base the same and add the exponents 5 and 2. 5 plus 2 makes 7. Let's look at the reasoning behind why that rule, that trick, is actually going to work. If I have x to the fifth times x to the second, two of the same bases together, we could rewrite that as saying five copies of x times together times by two more copies of x. And if I were to write that out, I see there's seven copies of x listed out here. Five from x to the fifth, two more from x squared, so when I times them all together, I have seven copies of x. We realize any time we multiply the same base, the base is just going to stay the same. We add the exponents because it's just saying a bunch of x's times some more x's. The second rule we're going to look at today and work with is the division property of exponents. This rule is going to be helping us when we're dividing two terms that have the same base. If we see that happening, all we need to do is subtract the exponents, take the exponent in the numerator, and subtract the exponent in the denominator. The base, again, is going to stay the same. So if we see y to the power of 6, 6 copies of y divided by y squared, two more copies, our rule says we could just do 6 minus 2, which equals 4, and we know this will leave us with y to the power of 4. The first reasoning we could use for why this works is, well, multiplying and dividing are inverses, they're opposites. So if the rule for multiplication is to add the exponents, and if division is just the opposite of multiplication, the opposite of adding is subtracting. So the rule, the shortcut when we divide the same base, is the opposite of the rule for when we multiply. Another way we can see why this reasoning, why this rule works, if we have y to the sixth over y squared, that's really six copies of y divided by two copies of y, and every copy of y on the bottom every exponent of y we have on the bottom will cancel out one of the exponents, one of the y copies on the top. That leaves us with four y's left over after we cancel out the two y's from the top and the bottom. That's y to the fourth and we realize the shortcut is just each y copy on the bottom is going to cancel out one on the top so we just need to do top minus bottom to see how many y's are left over. The final rule we'll look at today, an exponent to an exponent property, this rule works when we're trying to apply one exponent to another exponential term or to another exponent. The rule, the shortcut here, is we're going to multiply the two exponents together and the base will stay the same. If we have x to the power of a and all of that is raised to the power of b, we're just going to end up with x to the power of whatever a times b is. Our example, m to the power of 4 all of that needs to be squared or raised to the power of 2. 4 times 2 makes 8, so we realize if we use this rule, the shortcut, it will make m to the power of 8. Why does this rule, the shortcut, work? If we have m to the power of 4 squared, that really means we have two copies of m to the fourth multiplied together. And if we had two copies of m to the fourth multiplied together, we would just have to remember our rule from over here, when we multiply the same base, we add those exponents together. So if I have two copies of m to the fourth multiplied together, I'm just going to do 4 plus 4. That's the same thing as doing two copies of 4 or 4 times 2. So we can start to see here why the exponent to exponent rule just requires us to multiply those two exponents together.